Hi all, welcome to the session on new above syntax. Today we will be discussing on table expressions. There are different new keywords introduced in new above 7.5 like line index to know the row number, line exist to identify the particular record existing or not, mapping whenever we want to get data from one internal table to other mapping specific fields corresponding move corresponding from data from one table to other table field by field based on the matching entry base value whenever we have existing value and internal table existing records and we want to add extra record base value, reading, modifying internal tables, creating internal table of a particular structure. All these things we'll discuss. This syntax is to read internal table with the key. In the old syntax, we are reading table into work area with key. So it is actually inline declaration, but in 7.4, in 7.5, you can see in one line, you can declare the work area and this is kind of array operation in other programming language is more popular and it has been introduced in 7.5. See, you can, what you can give, you can give the internal table and field one value one. So the record that matches the value one of that field one, that record will be returned. So this expression returns only one record work area record same thing is to be written in different way the code you can see is very short and easy to understand we're getting the data from the internal table itf matching this field one to the value one you want to read from the index old syntax is index number we give and we write it internal table into work area here Declare the work area and use the index number. The difference between both is here you give the key value. What is the value of the field and here you give the index number. If you want to uh, get particular field from one table to other, this is how we are writing the syntax. We are reading that internal table to work area. If so, size of us equal to zero if successful we are doing this in the new syntax see this statement reading internal table to work area can be changed here internal table field one value one so this part gives you the work area and we want to get the specific value of the work area then you assign which value okay if you want to check existence of a value in the old syntax, we are writing read table into work area, transporting no fields. When you use transporting no fields, the place where we just want to check the data exists or not. We are not worried about getting any result back. We just need to ensure the data existing or not for the particular field we are going to check. And we are using transporting no fields with key. So this we replaced if line exists. This key condition came field one equal to value one. Field one equal to value one. And this returns the work area. Okay. Line exists means the, we got the work area, then line exists. If you do not get, does not exist. See the number of lines. Instead of three li lines, you have two lines. And the, uh, you see this much code, it's very small. New, new above is recommended nowadays to write because the number of lines of code is less and is more impactful. Okay, line exists to check if the record, particular record exists or not. Similarly, if you want to check the index number, if it exists, for example, if that record exists in the internal table, then matching field one with the value one. If the record exists, then check which line number the record in the internal table the record belongs to which line number so the single line gives you the result line index in the internal table matching the uh, fields 
But here you see there are four lines you have to write in the old syntax. Modifying an internal table, we have if you want to modify, there are two ways in the old way. Like either you use the modify statement or use field symbol. Field symbol was reducing the lines of code. But in the new syntax, it is further reduced. You can see if you want to change a particular uh, field value, what we are going to do, we are going to do, we are getting that work area first. So remember to get this work area internal table and get this work area matching this, this key field matching came here and which field you want to change bring the field. So this part is the work area part. This returns the work area. And this is the particular field of the work area. Directly you can change from the internal table itself without the use of field symbol. Next is you want to uh, fill data into the internal table. First time you are going to create an internal table. So what you are going to do, we are declaring different fields and populating, appending, clearing. This much code not required now with the new syntax. What is your value structure? So value is to populate the value. So when you create a value structure, it will going to create the internal table. You see, this is the first record. And you want to and populate the second record. See, I'm just highlighting the first record. This is the first record. And this is the second record. This is the second record. Okay. So at a time, you are creating the internal table and assigning values to it. So the number of lines you can see very reduced and it's very self-explanatory. This inline declaration we have already uh, discussed. This declaration internal table of what data type? A value structure and this structure field one, field two, field one, field two. It creates the internal table, assign the values, returns to internal ICAL. Here what you do? We have to declare, we have to assign, we have to append and clear. Number of lines again reduced. If you want to add entries to an existing internal table, you have an internal table, you have data in that, you want to add to it. So in the old way, it is a similar way. You keep appending, populating the work area and appending. In the new way, you have to use base item. Means whatever the data existing in the internal table, be it there, and you keep appending next records. So you can see the difference here. It was value structure and you see values has. Has whenever only you deal with value. You're not creating any new structure. Okay. Now you want to use move corresponding. So old syntax was move corresponding one table to other. A new syntax corresponding and you see the value. That means this value internal table data item one will be passed to item two corresponding the matching columns matching columns of one to other if you do not want any matching columns you have to specifically uh, say the mapping what mapping you want to do which field of table one will be mapped to which field of table two okay so this is same as this corresponding but here we have more control on ma uh, mapping different fields if you want everything get copied except few fields then you can mention which field using the accept keyword okay so now you need to understand well mapping means from one internal table i am copying to other internal table but i am deciding which field of table one will be copied to which field of table two unlike here we do not have control i have one fields one by one columns will be all copied to i have two here you specify which fields will be copied so I tab two corresponding I tab one corresponding I tab one then addition is mapping this field to this field this field of table one to this field of table two or mapping everything except the fields. Okay. Next is sometime what happens we'll have one field in an internal table and from that field we create 
two or multiple fields like splitting like with some offset cutting down the values into two or splitting into two what do you do old syntax for example that aw key is a field first 10 characters we want the doc document number and next four characters we need the year fiscal year so this is from one field old way what you are doing what we are doing is like we are looping it and we are taking the data and getting first 10 character then next four character here what you can do use the value directly you uh, declare an internal table no need of this declaration because now we are much comfortable in line declaration we'll declare the time we are going to use it so these two lines gone with this single declaration then what is the type it will be value of this type for field symbol in this this field then keep modifying so automatically it modifies what do you understand now there are many internal table operations like getting the index number in getting the value of a particular index or getting the value from the internal table with the field matching key matching or getting the index where there's a match line index or getting the checking the line exist if the record itself exist then record exist what is the line index if the record exist we use line exist okay so mapping if you want to be very specific which field of internal table one you are mapping with internal table two if your internal table already has records so base is there then you want to add more how to do that so all about now we learn modifying like we learn about table expressions how we do we deal with table in the new above one point to remember one note is when you use this try to use this try catch block why try class block required in case uh, the try fails it will be caught otherwise there will be sometime dump so this you have to catch okay. that's all about table expressions in new above 7.5 syntax Thank you all.